Do you clean your washing machine? Probably not. Will you clean it after you watch this video? Probably not. But in this video, I'm gonna tell you the importance of why you should be cleaning your washing machine. Hopefully at the end of this, we can give you a gold star. Cleaning of washing machines. Do I have to clean my washing machines? Well, yes, yes you do. You have a concentration of soap, water, and dirt and junk coming out of your clothes in a very small area of the washing machine. It all becomes a big concentrate of yuck and muck. So when you open the machines up and it smells like your teenage kid's room, the door's been closed for five months and all their clothes are laying all over the floor. I'm in danger. That's what they smell like. Well, that's the reason why. Cleaning provides a lot of benefits for your washing machine. The washing machine cleans better. Your clothes are cleaner when they're done. They don't get that odors and the smells. If you're over sudsing your machine, and what I mean by that is you're adding too much soap in and you have a ton of soap suds. Well, the soap suds, when they're still in the machine, when it, the cycle is done, well, what it does is it spins these soap suds to the outer basket and they stay there. They have nowhere to go. Then the bacteria starts to grow on them along with the other muck and junk that's in there from your clothes that is coming out of your clothes. That's where you get your odors from. That basically diminishes the life of your washing machine. It's always important to clean your washing machine. You need to do it about every 40 to 50 wash loads because if not, you're only diminishing your investment in this washing machine. Wash machines aren't cheap anymore. It's just better to do it just for maintenance, for your own health, and for the longevity of the washing machine. And also it will save your nose. So every time you open it up, it won't be like, why does this smell? Let's talk about actually cleaning your washing machine. If you haven't cleaned your machine in a long time, we really need to deep clean it first. And what you want to normally do is to take your bin out here. Now, most of the bins that do come out, the bin itself will actually come out all the way. There's usually a little push button right here that will allow it to come out. So you can take this out, clean this out really good, take all your pieces and parts out, and make sure you scrub this really well. And also opening the door and cleaning out the bellow or the gasket, that's that rubber piece that's in there. It depends on the manufacturer, what they call it. Some call them bellow, some call them gasket, some call them rubber thingies. No, they don't call them that. But that's what you want to clean out. So uh, with that, you want to take some good sanitizing wipes, make sure you pull back the bellow, get all that stuff out, and then take a look at using camera. It will tell you what its recommendations are. Some people say that just use straight bleach. Some say use cleaners. It just all depends on, on what you want to use. If you don't have access to an owner's manual, the best thing to do is to follow the instructions on the back of the package. If your machine has, and not every one of them does, but you do have clean outs on your washing machine. Before you do the cleaning process, I would recommend that you take the clean out out, make sure everything is taken out of the pump clean out, and then run the cleaning cycle. And after the cleaning cycle is done, I'd probably check it again because you might have some stuff in there you may not really want to have in there. That with top load machines, some do not have cleaning cycles. If they don't have a cleaning cycle, still do the cleaning. You don't have a clean out with the top load machines and a few other things, but you're still gonna lift up your lid and you're gonna wipe around the top part of the, what's called the, the balance ring or the ring up on the very top or your cover, you're gonna wipe that off real good with a with sanitizing wipe, clean that really good. And then uh, at that point, run the cleaning cycle. If it has it, again, if it doesn't have the instructions for it, use the instructions on the box that will tell you that it comes in and follow those instructions. On this particular box here, this says on it, select the clean cycle on it, but it also says for non-HE washers, select the normal or heavy cycles. But what the cleaning cycle actually does, you say, well, what does it actually do? It allows the machine to fill up with more water than it normally does. That's why you have to run it empty as it fills up with more water and it agitates really fast to get that water up and around that tub. So it's really important to make sure you do that. Or it'll look like some of the machines that you've seen in the video you take apart and all that yucky stuff that's in there. I hope this has been a little bit informative why you need to do it because it really is important to do it. Please do this because it is very helpful for yourself, for your sanity, for your washing machine, and for your clothes. Thank you for watching. If you have any further questions or any comments, please put them below and we'll be happy to answer them. I don't want to do it professionally. I think I'm professional doing this. I'm, I'm a technician and you're gonna be putting these outros on there. So let's watch this video together as I present it to you and we'll talk about oh, I can't do it your way. I just can't do it. But in this video, we'll show you why you should be cleaning your washing machine, but you probably won't after. <laughs> Will you clean after watching this video? It's important. Do it. Do you clean this video? Do you clean this? Do you clean that? Do you eat green eggs and ham? And one more shot. <sighs> Surrender to you now. I'm here to fix your appliance, not tell you how to do it. No.